This is math 152. We are going to get the second part of 1.6 in right now. And let's talk about integrals for, uh, for natural log and for log base A. So for natural log, uh, I'm just going to tell you what it is. It is uh, x times the natural log of x minus x plus some constant. Uh, notice you can factor an x out of here, so sometimes this will be written. And then uh, log base A of x, uh, I'll, what it is is um, we can like use change of base for this, right? Think of this as natural log of x divided by natural log of A. And then it just becomes this times that constant 1 over natural log of A. Like 1 over natural log of A is just a number. So this is essentially the derivative of this. So it's this times 1 over natural log of A. So you can see that as like x over natural log of a, right? 1 over natural log of a times x times that. So there's some to, uh, to know. And I want to remind you that the derivative of 1 over u, uh, sorry, that the integral of 1 over u is natural log of x. So, so be careful. It's easy to get these mix, mixed up. Um, that goes to that, but that goes to that when you're doing integrals. Okay, so with that in mind, let's do um, a nice group of examples. And one thing I'm going to say is having that absolute value around the x, um, I'm not going to be a huge stickler about that, but I do want you to be super aware because if we're doing applications, it's going to be important. Because if we try to go natural log of a negative number, uh, it kicks us out of it kicks us out of the reals. So. Let's go ahead and deal with some of these. So uh, the integral of natural log of x divided by x, I'm going to do a little u substitution. I'm going to let u equal uh, the natural log of x. And now notice I'm taking the derivative of natural log of x, not the integral. So we know the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. And so then now I have my substitution. u is just that. And this is 1 over x dx. That's du. So this would be the integral of that which we know is uh, 1 half u squared uh, plus some constant. And then if we plug that u back into there, use natural log, we have natural log squared, 1 half natural log squared, x plus c. I uh, might, might write it like this as well, same thing. And I'm going to then, you could leave it like that. You could also write it as that, same thing. All right. Here's another one. Um, natural log, I'm sorry, integral of dx over x times natural log squared. Notice that is just that in another version. So let's, uh, let's do this again. So u is going to be natural log of x because natural log is inside the squaring. That means uh, du would be 1 over x dx. That's pretty good. Uh, notice this dx over x. That's the same as dx. So I've got that part for my substitution. So this will be 1 over u squared, which is u to the negative 2. So I know that the integral of that is going to be, which is the same as basically negative 1 over u. So if I plug that u back in, use natural log. So I've got negative 1 over natural log of x plus c. There it is. Uh, integral of e to the natural log of x. e to the natural log of x, e and natural log undo each other. This is the same as this, which is, uh, or that, we're done. That was kind of a convenient e and natural log cancel each other out. Um, 1 over x times natural log, another substitution. So I've got my. 1 over x dx, that's going to get replaced with my du. Got 1 over natural log, so 1 over u, du. So notice that's u to the negative 1. All right, so the integral of that, if I back up and think, is natural log. So this would be natural log of u plus some constant. And u is natural log, so this is going to be the natural log of the natural log of x. 
plus C. And that made me giggle for some reason. Uh, there you go. There's some good math teacher humor for you. I don't know if good's the right word. Okay, a few more to look at here. I'm going to make a little space. Just got the integral 3 over x minus 10 dx. Let's let u equal x minus 10 for our substitution. So the derivative of that is 1 dx. Um, I've got my x minus 10 cap, but I want a 3. So how about I call this 3 du, 3 dx. The other thing you could do is take the 3 out early. But either way, I get that. So that's just a constant I'm multiplying by. So I'll push it out like that. Uh, the integral of 1 over u is natural log. Great. And then I'm just going to put that u back in there, x minus 10. So 3 times the natural log of x minus 10 plus c. And again, I'm putting that in that absolute value because we don't have any bounds for x. Like this could end up being negative. Okay, um, this one, same idea. I'm going to let u equal that denominator. And conveniently, derivative would be uh, 4x cubed plus 6x, uh, just 6x. And I noticed that that is just this times 2. So if I said uh, 2du, oh no, sorry, half. So my substitution will be uh, one half, one over u du, and just push that one half out of the way. The integral of one over u is natural log. So I've got one half times the natural log of u plus my constant. Plug that u back into there. There's my u right there. One half natural log of x of the plus 3x squared, plus c. You could write it this way, times 1 half, or you could just put that whole thing over 2. Same thing. Cool. Two more examples for you. This is by definition. Uh, another way to think about this is, right, you can rewrite this using change of base formula. So that pops out. If, if, or, or you can just do the straight substitution from the, from the formula. Um, and by from the formula, I mean that. This is where we're going to end up. So this is x times uh, natural log of x minus 1 times that. You can write it this way. You can tuck the x. Since these are multiplied together, you can tuck the x up here. Okay, and last one. This one's a lot like those previous ones with fractions. I'm going to let u equal that denominator. Derivative of u then is derivative of 1 is uh, 0. Derivative of cosine of x is negative sine. So basically I've got negative du is sine x dx. So as I do my substitution then, I've got negative. Using the denominator 1 over u du, I can take that negative out of there. I know the, uh, the integral of 1 over u is a natural log, so this would be negative natural log of u plus c, and u happens to be 1 plus cosine x, so I'm going to substitute it back in plus that constant, and we are there. Give those problems a try. Send me any questions that you, uh, that you have.